Hello and welcome to MBKM Models. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more great aircraft documentaries and model build videos. Being the outright wing, the only spare available was that of a smaller Douglas DC-2 in CNAC's workshops. The DC-2's right wing was removed, flowed to Sufu under the belly of another CNAC DC-3 and bolted up to the damaged aircraft. After a single test flight in which it was discovered that that it pulled to the right due to the difference in wing sizes, the so-called DC-2.5 was flown to safety. During World War II, many civilian DC-3s were drafted for the war effort, and more than 10,000 US military versions of the DC-3 were built, under the designation C-47, C-53, R-4D and Dakota. Peak production was reached in 1944, with 4,853 being delivered. The armed forces of many countries used the DC-3 and its military variants for the transport of troops, cargo and wounded. Licensed copies of the DC-3 were built in Japan as the L-2D and in the Soviet Union as the Lusinov Li-2. After the war, thousands of cheap ex-military DC-3s became available for civilian use. Cubana de Aviación became the first Latin American airline to offer a scheduled service to Miami when it started its first scheduled international service from Havana in 1945 with a DC-3. Cubana used DC-3s on some domestic routes well into the 1960s. Douglas developed an improved version, the Super DC-3, with more power, greater cargo capacity and an improved wing. But with inexpensive surplus aircraft available, they failed to sell well in the civilian aviation market. Only five were delivered, three of them to Capital Airlines. The US Navy had 100 of its early R4Ds converted to Super DC-3 standard during the early 1950s as the Douglas R4D 8C117D. The last US Navy C117 was retired on July the 12th, 1976. The last US Marine Corps C117 Serial 50835 was retired from active service during June 1982. Several remained in service with small airlines in North and South America in 2006. The United States Forest Service used the DC-3 for smoke jumping and general transportation until the last example was retired in December 2015. A number of aircraft companies attempted to design a DC-3 replacement over the next three decades, including the very successful Fokker F-27 Friendship, but no single type could match the versatility, rugged reliability and economy of the DC-3, while newer airliners soon replaced it on longer, high-capacity routes, it remained a significant part of air transport systems well into the 1970s as a regional airliner before being replaced by early regional jets. Perhaps unique among pre-war aircraft, the DC-3 continues to fly in active commercial and military service as of 2021, 86 years after the Type's first flight in 1935. Although the number is dwindling due to expensive maintenance and a lack of spare parts, there are small operators with DC-3s in revenue service and as cargo aircraft. Applications of the DC-3 have included passenger service, aerial spraying, freight transport, military transport, missionary flying, skydiver shuttling and sightseeing. There have been a very large number of civil and military operators of the DC-3 C-4 47 and related types. A common saying among aviation enthusiasts and pilots is the only replacement for a DC-3 is another DC-3. Its ability to use grass or dirt runways makes it popular in developing countries or remote areas where runways may be unpaved. The oldest surviving DST is N133D, the sixth Douglas sleeper transport built, manufactured in 1936. This aircraft was delivered to American Airlines on the 12th of July 
1936 as NC-16005. In 2011, it was at Shell Creek Airport, Punta Gorda, Florida. It has been repaired and has been flying again. The most recent flight was on the 25th of April, 2021. The oldest DC-3 still flying is the original American Airlines flagship Detroit, the 43rd aircraft off the Santa Monica production line that was delivered on the 2nd of March, 1937, which appears at air shows around the United States and is owned and operated by the flagship Detroit Foundation. The base price for a new DC-3 in 1936 was around sixty to $80,000, and by 1960, used examples were available for $75,000. In 2023, flying examples can be bought from $400,000 to $700,000. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and until next time.